hey guys welcome to my channel so i have a server for myself now but it's so ugly it's really hard to work on it so as you can see look at this welcome message it is so bad as you can see look at this welcome message it is so bad so let me uh, change it so in order to change it you have to edit this file etc slash mod d so let me delete all this and add something cool so something like um, okay i'm going to generate an x sky art so works teach all right so okay i have to copy all of this copy and then set paste paste all right okay so as you can see now it have something cool actually it's not cool let me delete all of this and let me see not this not this not this not this not this not okay i'm wasting too much time here so let me go with this one okay oh wait subscribe yeah that's cool i skipped up yeah paste it save it closer so now if i you know just exit out from the server and try to ssh again so it's saying subscribe now it's also saying few things it's a debian thing i don't know how to do it so like fix it so this is cool now it's running bash now i don't like bash i like zsh so i'm going to stall zsh here in a server and there is this tool out there which is pretty simple to customize zsh from it so it's a uh, oh my zsh so oh my zsh so you just have to paste one line but in order to paste that line uh in your server you should always have a git and also curl so curl is a very important tool now i'm installing this because i'm using debian if you use something like ubuntu all these uh things comes pre-installed which is not a good thing it's a it's a bloatware so let me run this command let me try to run this command so it's cloning oh my zsh okay it's uh, too much of size so yeah it will add all these nice colors and then we are going to okay it's also going to change my shell by default which is a good thing because i wanted this now as you can see my shell is changed but i also want to see the path uh, which comes here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my oh my zsh okay the path is uh, we can see the path but i still want to change the theme so uh, let me change the zsh config zshrc and uh, there are so many comments here fuck okay what is my favorite theme it's lnp body all right save it close it so now if i type zsh so this is lnp body but this theme is not looking good by default i mean it sucks so let me go to themes and then lnp body and then here let me change the prompt a little bit because yeah that's good yeah now it's a little bit better uh let me do one more thing uh, just sorry guys i'm wasting too much time but if i change here the color you know the color from maganita to red it will improve okay now it's much better so yeah it's kind of like my you know my shell so this is it like uh, we got this thing too so now i'm going to install tmux because uh, uh, working without tmux in a server is a pain like you want to open multiple windows like two two windows and i want to install neofetch so i can see some server information for myself now obviously you don't need neofetch for that you can do it without neofetch but i'm just doing it because it's fun to type neofetch here and here okay you cannot see here oh okay so this is my server and this is my personal computer cool what else uh, i might need here maybe some vim configuration so vimrc let add um, inor map uh, jk to esc so i don't use escape to change my uh, you know the insert mode in normal mode so now if i open vim and if i type something i can type jk and then you know it will work it's pretty cool so what else i might need maybe some changes regarding tmux conf uh, unbind um, cb set hyphen g um okay what is like bind okay i don't remember like how to do tmux configuration let me copy mine it's pretty simple okay so i just want to bind this um, key as a prefix key so i made a tmux tutorial in case if you want to see so this is for last window and i want to keep the position on top so all these basic setup is important so you can work on your server now i have a i think i don't have any local win let me create a local win for my scripts 
go to local bin and type open dot sh or just open escape to open any file quickly i'm going to use fzf so so basically cd into find every file i name okay what i'm going to do let me let me show you okay so i take it install uh fcf so fcf is a tool to search anything it's already installed i guess uh, or i don't know so fcf is a pretty cool tool it's working so i'm going to search every file here uh not like this okay well, what i'm doing like okay not all file like just just files not folder okay so type f enter uh, so it's going to give me a list of every file present in my computer and I going to, I'm going to, you know, pipe it into FCF. If I want to open some configuration file, it will be pretty easy. So as you can see, it's uh, printing the name now. So what I can do is I can, you know, use Vim to open it and keep this in quotation. So spaces won't hurt us. So let's uh, open ntp.conf. So as you can see, it's so fast. It 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 is pretty good, cool script for server, you know. So let me copy this thing and. So yeah, that's all the basic stuff which um, I need. Otherwise, people don't add all these kind of things and they start working on the server. It's so pain. So uh, make it executable. Make sure to local bin and then in the Z profile, ZSHRC. Uh, we might want to set a path like uh like you know the path yeah, i i totally forgot how to add path um i think i know path is equal to uh path and then uh local bin yeah that's it I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around.